New equipment unlocked. F22 Raptor. Yes! Ooh. That, yeah, that'll buff out. What's up, Jet Team? It's Ryan. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm a former F-15E combat fighter pilot, F-16 Thunderbird pilot, and current commercial pilot. And I use that experience to break down epic aviation videos and stories, and you can send those to me on my Instagram. Today, we're gonna go behind the scenes into the F-22 Raptor, and we're gonna watch the demonstration, and I'm gonna break it down for you from the fighter pilot perspective. And stay to the very end of this video, because I'm gonna tell you two pieces of bonus information that you're gonna love. The first one will be the last dogfight that I had with the F-22 Raptor and what I saw, and then we're gonna watch the F-22 shoot a missile and it's gun. It's gonna be epic. Oh, before we get going though, if you would, just <laughs> dominate the like button for me. Every time you like and subscribe, you create a Raptor somewhere in the world. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> Something I love about the 90 degrees nose high climb is you just have so many options, especially when you have a lot of energy like they have here because from that position, you can just pull and level off. That's called an Immelman or you can just continue to pull and essentially do a loop. There's just tons of options when you have this much thrust. And speaking of thrust, they've got about 70,000 pounds of thrust coming from those thrust vectoring engines and a fully gassed up F-22 weighs around 60,000 pounds. So it has a greater thrust to weight ratio, which I saw firsthand in a dogfight and uh, uh, more on that in a little bit. So the min radius turn, that's something that you would wanna do if you are in a radius fight, which means you're basically trying to get your nose around as soon as possible. A rate fight would be maintaining energy and keeping your speed high, whereas a radius turn is you're not so concerned about your speed, you're more concerned about getting your nose around as fast as possible. And this thing can move pretty quick. <laughs> I like how they add in there the plus, 9G plus. Hmm, can we not do the plus? That's, that's what I would be thinking. 9Gs is enough, but yeah, I'm sure that airframe can handle a lot more. There's that Cobra maneuver, Maverick's trademark. He's gonna get an attorney and come after them for trademark violation. <laughs> but that maneuver is awesome if, especially you're fighting against a fourth generation fighter. If you're fighting against another fifth generation fighter, they're gonna be able to do some sort of Cobra maneuver as well and potentially stay behind the aircraft. The goal of that is to slam on the brakes like this, go up and have the other plane shoot by. So again, fourth generation fighter, probably gonna be susceptible to that. Just a really, really fun maneuver. A J turn is just a really cool way to change direction. So think of it kind of like a half pipe. You go up the half pipe, you turn and you change directions. And the Raptor can do that extremely quickly as you just saw. Probably more fun on a snowboard though, depending on what you're into. <laughs> That's a pretty awesome loadout. So two AIM-120s, two AIM-9s, and then the GBU-39, which is a small diameter bomb. You've got the GBU-32, which is a 1,000 pound bomb, and then the 20 millimeter cannon, of course. Gotta have that, can't forget that. Okay, so they call this the pedal turn, but 
I would like to submit falling leaf. This is a falling leaf maneuver. I just think falling leaf sounds cooler. So uh, that's just my two cents. But essentially that's when you can rotate that jet around and move your nose to anywhere you want, which is huge during a dog fight. May have seen that up close and personal. It's, it's too soon, guys, it's too soon. Our loop is super cool because it's just such a tight loop, so it's a great way to change directions as well. The loaded roll is awesome, especially if you can do it very slow because that creates closure for the plane behind you because you're basically flying a big circle in the sky and slowing yourself down. So if they don't match that and do that, they're gonna fly right by. The tail slide is really cool if you can control it, which the F-22 Raptor can. When I would do this in my F-15E, I would like to think that I could control it, but it was pretty much anybody's guess where the nose is gonna fall to just because it's not built for this type of a tail slide down. And you gotta be careful too because you can get in a stall in your engine if your engines aren't built for this type of maneuver. But with the advanced engines of the F-22, they don't have anything to worry about. Split S is an excellent maneuver. It's used a lot in a dog fight as well. And to be able to do it in a really tight amount of airspace, because if you're in a real world dog fight, you're gonna get down to the hard deck, to the floor, to the actual ground. And you don't wanna hit that, obviously. So if you can do a really tight split S and then come out the bottom with having room to do it at a low altitude, huge advantage. Well played. Okay, that was a decent high speed pass. So the top speed of this bad boy is Mach 1.82, and that's more than 20 miles a minute. It's essentially 0.3 miles a second. So let's increase the speed on this bad boy. Well, we don't want any sonic booms, or do we? So the Hoover pitch is really cool. It's a lesser known aerobatic maneuver made by Bob Hoover. Think of it kind of like a jet doing a slalom on skis. It's basically turning around a barrel that's underneath it. It's turning over that barrel and then it's maneuvering as it makes that turn. So it's essentially like you're not dipping down and doing a traditional style turn. You're constantly staying over the top and it just looks really sweet from the crowd perspective. Let's take a peek. And those thrust vectoring engines just make it look So there you go, guys. There's that F-22 demonstration. And now I'm a man of my word. So now you get the bonus material. I wanna tell you a quick tidbit of dogfighting that F-22. And here's the move that I saw. It was essentially a Cobra maneuver. So they stopped. I couldn't stay completely behind them. So I veered off to the left. They essentially stopped in midair. And then from the Cobra maneuver, they went up. <laughs> and they just kept going up. And so I'm looking behind me. Needless to say, it didn't end too well, but the fact that the Raptor has a greater thrust to weight ratio allows it to potentially continue to just go up way more than any fourth generation fighter can. And at that point, once it gets that distance from you and then it can just turn and put its nose on you, it's game over. So that was my last dog fight with an F-22. More on that in a later video. But now that second piece of bonus material, let's watch this Raptor shoot a missile and fire the gun. This is gonna be cool.
So there you go. There was a missile coming off of the F-22. Now, obviously it's got to drop out of the bay because it's got to maintain its stealth characteristics. Then that missile drops out and boosh, rocket fires and it's gone. Super cool. Just the fact that everything is stealth. I mean, even the gun pops up when it shoots. Like, it's just such an awesome package of a fighter jet. So in summary, is the F-22 worth it? Well, some builders of the F-22 have recently been quoted saying, the F-22 is the sheepdog. It's the watcher in the night that keeps our adversaries at Day. And when I've worked with the F-22 and I've you know flown two feet away from it for photo missions or when I've done different joint exercises with the F-22, here's the things that I took away. It's got all the fundamentals just like a really solid football or basketball team would have. It's not just offense. It's not just defense. It's not just special teams. It's got the whole package. So from its stealth fundamentals and its ability to be that sheepdog in the night that no one can see, to its advanced thrust vectoring that gives it the ability to dogfight like a champ, and then right down to its integration, where it can integrate with so many other systems. And then you combine that with the ability of the pilots to get a lot of flight time. The pilots that I flew with that were F-22 pilots were just top of the line, super solid. The situational awareness that they had from the Raptor was really cool. I remember one time one of them saying, Raptor had situational awareness. And I think when you talk about yourself in third person, it just makes you sound cooler. Am I off on that? I don't know. So for the bang for your buck, I'd say the F-22, the sheepdog is well worth it. I'm so glad you guys are here to check out this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. We'd love to hear it. Thanks so much for being here guys. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.